So a few days ago, a friend asked me, what exactly have you been doing? They knew that I just had my own business. And when I thought about that question, I was just like, what have I been doing? And I, it's kind of a scary question to now be 25% through with the summer. I really feel like my head has kind of been all over the place, but if I don't actually have a system, I'm not gonna be able to actually test and refine what I'm doing. I'm just gonna kind of be wandering around guessing like, every single week. And so this week I have a very clear and straightforward goal that I really wanna achieve, and that is simply just to build my portfolio to start getting experience. And I have a few gigs lined up this week. But before I get into the new projects I'll be taking on this week, I want to talk about what I actually have been doing. Now, a week ago, I was in Baltimore because I have some friends there who are musicians. So I got to shoot a music video, and so we've already shot all the footage, and I've been editing it. However, I currently need to finish up the color grade and the lyrics. And color grading is probably one of my weaker abilities, but nonetheless, you know, I'm going to try. Um, but if I fail, I'm, I'm not going to fail. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make it look good. But nonetheless, I'm going to put some effort into that. Now, the other thing that I've been doing is I started an Instagram page called Explore Philly and I'm someone who likes to travel and I think that one of the hardest parts about traveling is actually trying to find interesting places to go to when you're in somewhere that you're not familiar with and so now that I'm here in Philly for the summer I figured why not create a page that just curates these really amazing spots to go to around the city. I thought this would be great because not only am I solving a problem for myself I can actually talk to the business owners and be like hey this is what I do and I can use the video that I make as case studies to be like hey this is the kind of growth I was able to have on my own page think about what I can do for you. So those are two of the major projects I've been working on right now. I'm gonna get back to the computer and finish color grading this footage. You're probably asking, okay, who exactly are you and what exactly do you do? That is a great question. My name is Roman Hines and my university gave me funding to launch my own startup this summer. I know, big surprise. I'm still kind of taking it all in. However, that is kind of what the point of this channel is. It is me documenting this day-to-day, week-to-week process of honestly trying to figure out what does it look like to start my own business. And I'm currently trying to pursue a business in video production and digital marketing. That's enough about me. I kind of want to talk about some of the footage that I have right here. This song is called Other Side and it was written by my friend Josh, but he by Jush, and you can find it on Spotify, or if not Spotify, why? I'm not gonna show you all the footage. If you wanna see the full music video, I'll leave a link to it in the description. However, I do wanna share my favorite shot, my least favorite shot, and also what I learned from producing this video. Now, funny enough, I'm pretty sure my least favorite shot of the entire video is this opening sequence, and that's just because of how complex it was. I think it was it was super hot, it was super bright outside, I did not have any D filter, and so it was really hard to make the shot look good while, you know, like walking backwards, holding a game wheel, trying to keep them in the center, trying to keep all the other actions outside of the frame. I think it's okay, it could have been a lot better. I think this was maybe like, like the sixth or seventh take. This is like the first shot that we did for the entire video, and even though it wasn't that great, I tried not to let that like get me down. I had to just focus on, you know, getting the rest of the shots and just making them good enough because we had, you know, only a small time window, and of course, not everything was gonna be perfect. I had to just, you know, keep moving forward. Now that I think about it, there's actually a couple shots here that I really, really like. I would probably go with my favorites, but if I only had to pick one, I think it would be the shot that comes right after the first one, which is again, another complex tracking gimbal shot. I think what made this one so satisfying is that it came out exactly the way that we envisioned it. We gave everyone their cues and their timings and, and they hit it to perfection. And on top of that, we got it to transition right into the next shot. And I was sharing something that I think that I learned from producing now my second music video was that, you know, we didn't have a full detailed plan before we got to the day of shooting, um, which really you should have. However, we sat down for about an hour and really just brainstormed, you know, some key sequences and we were able to put together a, a really good shot list. Having that plan when we were shooting um, allowed me to be really, really efficient when I was editing and it made the process just way simpler. Good morning. It is Monday and it is about 7 a.m. I'm currently packing my bags because I'm going to be heading out to Camp Hope for Kids today. They are a camp out in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and they just contracted me to do some video projects for them throughout the summer. And so today is the first one. I'll be spending the night there, possibly. And so that's why I need to pack my bags, but I also need to make sure I have all my gear and everything I need for the shoot. Okay, so I've just arrived at the campgrounds. I'm getting my stuff out of the car and basically I'm gonna be filming an orientation video for the camp because every week we need to basically prep the group of campers with how to, you know, interact and get around at camp. So I'm looking forward to meeting everyone um, and, you know, just preparing for the shoot. Hopefully it goes well. Sun's a break. Oh, 
We just got done finished shooting all of the interviews. Now we're getting some of the B-roll, the fun shots, the filler shots. The kind of an office style video that I want to do. It's been super fun so far. Um, hopefully I can share some of the clips with y'all. But yeah, we're gonna keep going. It's currently 7.20 and breakfast is at 8. However, I'm gonna go on a prayer walk and read some scripture before meeting up with everyone. Okay, we're about to get started for day two of filming. I got my guy Seth here. Hey. Oh, love Seth. We're gonna get to filming. Hopefully we'll be done by today. Hopefully the weather cooperates. Hopefully the sun's not too crazy. But yeah. Hello good people, how are we doing? Uh, today is Thursday, it's Thursday night. I basically spent like the last two days just editing. Um, I finished color grading Josh's video. I just sent in the, the video for camp for them to look over and make any final revisions so I can send that into them. And I also edited a like slimmed down, like highlight version of the wedding video that I made so I can start sending it out. I've been really making an effort to like do the difficult things, the thing that I really don't want to do, but I know that I really need to do. But overall, I'm feeling good. Um, I've been sitting in front of the computer for just way too long. I definitely need to get a break. I need to go outside day by day, trying to get a little bit better. There are a few more projects that are still in the works and coming up. So I honestly, I'm also looking forward to those, but I'm trying to make sure that I knock out all the editing that I need to get done. Now finally coming to the end of the week and the goal for this week again was to really start building my portfolio and I think I'm beginning to do that but this process is taking of course a bit longer than you usually think it does and I think I've been able to start doing that I was able to deliver on two different client projects this week again as long as every single week I get a little bit better and I get a little bit closer to where I'm gonna get to then I can count it as a success but nonetheless thanks again for watching and remember don't wait for a hero go be one peace